No players. Here we are vibesing behind the scenes on the set of E20 and EastEnders in a little known borough you might recognise called Wolford. I'm joined by Team SB's latest member, Aaron. You alright, sir? I'm alright. I'm okay. How have you managed to calm yourself down since Kelly Rowland? Um, I've had a cold shower, washed mm -hmm. away with that nervous sweat, but I haven't washed my hands, my leg or my head because, as you know, Kelly touched all three. Kind, kind of disgusting. Mm, it's actually lovely. But yeah. Here we've got Team SB's new tag team A and G and we're going to be walking around the Webby Award winning E20 set also interviewing some of the E20 cast members and for those of you that don't know E20 is written by 16 to 22 year olds and they've got a program where they're actually looking for more writers so for all you talented writers out there this is one for you. Don't know about you but I'm hankering after a pint in the Queen Vic. Yep. Should we roll? Let's go. How you doing all you lovely people at SBTV? All right, it's your boy Ricky Nord, AKA Fat Boy, and we're here on set live in EastEnders land, Wolford E20. A man that needs no introduction. Here I am with Fat Boy. You're right. How you doing? I'm good. Do you prefer Fat Boy, Ricky? Do, does your family ever no, get confused? No, my family don't get confused, yeah. luckily, because they've, they've they've known me long long enough. It'd be a bit worrying if they did, really, wouldn't it? Yeah, if they got a bit confused, then I'd be like, hmm, watching the show a bit too much. So this is where you're working. This is where I'm working right now. Have you got any deals for me at the moment? I'm in the market for a vehicle. Listen, I mean, for a lady like you, I'm sure Fat Boy would just come out and say, darling, sweetness, baby girl, why don't you just take a look? <laughs> We'll go for a little ride, you know. You can have you can have a little demo around the square, mm. and and then maybe I can knock off a little, you know, sign out for you, oh, you know. I don't know how Whitney would feel about that. Though. Don't worry about Whitney. How you yeah. know Whitney? Yeah. Whitney's a friend. Of my, she's good. Oh, she's just a, a friend, yeah, just yeah. a friend. Oh. She, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. Mm. You know, she doesn't put the pretty flower in her hair like you did. That's oh. all. <laughs> Such a charm of that boy. Put, put me off my questions. <laughs> SBTV. Wolford E20. Let's do this, man. We're gonna have a little tour of of the stalls here. All right. So so this is the infamous toy stall. All right, this is where all the Christmas presents come from every single year. I mean, but look at the quality we have. Look at the football we have here. Okay, this, this, this is what what you say about our society right here. Okay, we don't want to just give it to you like a full ball so that you can go and kick and play straight away. We want to take it home. We want it to pump up. We want to interact with the toys. And how is it different on E20 working with such young scriptwriters to moving on to EastEnders? Um, well. With the younger writers, they put in a lot of slang in the in the writing, actually yeah. on the page. Whereas here on EastEnders, they kind of they know a couple of slang words. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll be in the right place, yeah. but majority of the time they'll put something that's really wrong. What's the best bad slang you've ever heard? Oh, I can't, oh man, it's been too much. I mean, in one script, in one script, mm -hmm. okay, there's three different scenes. In the first scene, Fat Boy was Jafakan, not Jamaican, Jafakan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was like, you know, Jai Rastafari, Selassie, and I was like, look, I can do that, but I'm from East London, I will get beat up, all right? Yeah. So <laughs> that's not happening. And then the uh, second one was like um, American, like, I'm going to bust a cap in your ass and all that. And I was like, seriously, what are you trying to do to yeah. me? And then in the last scene, it was like Ali G, you know, yeah. I is going to the yeah. shop. You get me, you know what I mean? It was yeah. like all broken up, like, and I was like, "What are you doing to me, man?" Yeah. So I just had to just just rewrite the whole thing and just just you know go on the fat boy flow. But this is the new kebab shop. It's about time East London or E20 had, had a kebab shop on set, don't you think? Hello, it's Aaron from SBTV here. I'm with Dukes, who plays Faith Olubume in EastEnders E20. Oh my goodness! Oh, what'd you say? Got a bed in there or what? Yeah, yeah, I've got clean sheets and a pillow too. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. How are you? I'm all right, you know. I'm quite excited to be here in Albert Square. It's crazy. Um, I wanted to ask you about yourself. Obviously, you're an actor in... Wait, can I do one thing? Go on, do it, do can it. Can I do the SB um, TV? Please, okay. please. Watch me. Go on. Da, 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 SB TV. I love that. Well, the whole East End is E20 project, I think it's really good because obviously it's, um, it's helping um, young actors, young writers to, um, to kind of get their foot in the door. Um, how do you feel as though it's actually helped you like individually? What has it done for you in terms of contributing to yourself as an actress and basically having a knowledge of the industry as well? Um, I think a lot 
you like I've learned a lot about industry like when you're here you have to be so focused you have to be on your A game but at the same time you need to have fun and yeah. fun and you know let yourself go a bit you can't be too tight and yeah I don't want to do this or that you have to be free with other actors as well even if you don't like someone you still have to do it not that I didn't like anyone I loved everyone here <laughs> I loved everyone here honestly shh so here I am with the ladies behind the action who've been working very hard on the script for E20. I'm here with Sandra and Tossin. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are we doing? I'm fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I actually didn't realise that the whole script was written by 16 to 22 year olds. How did you guys get involved? Um, well, I actually saw an advert for it somewhere, I think like in a cafe or something, and I just thought, yeah. ooh, sounds interesting, I'll apply. I preach one true word here, ain't that right, Mrs. B? Yes, yes, well, your acquaintances usually aren't dressed like that. Obviously you're on the hunt for new writers, what are you guys looking for in a colleague to join you? Someone who is just young and fresh and has new ideas that they want to see on TV that they haven't seen yet and someone that can portray something that's real and like from their own experience. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time like um, it's like older people writing for younger people where th whereas they don't really know like what's going on right now. So someone who just can bring something new and maybe something from their experience. Hello it's Aaron from SBTV again. I've got Ema Kenny with me who used to be in EastEnders E20, went over to EastEnders for a year and has now become heavily involved in writing. Ema it's a very impressive story that you have oh, I have you. to say personally I just respect and rate what you're doing yourself um, I wanted to ask you obviously you're doing a, an extensive amount of writing yeah um, where do you draw your inspiration from like in terms of how you get your ideas for what you write um, a lot from my friends to be honest because I want to keep it I want to keep what I'm doing kind of real to young people yeah. um, so I guess I just draw it from people around me yeah. and and then if I want to watch it then I'll try and write it do you know what I mean and I'll try and write it how I want to watch it how did you get into writing like what was it because I know that you um you obviously left your standards and you went to the BBC Writers Academy yeah um so how did you get into the well writing? I started out acting yeah. um and oh, I just felt like there weren't that many parts for girls that were kind of what I wanted to be doing yeah. like strong kind of girls with who weren't just the girlfriend or the bitch or whatever um, so I started writing just little things just thinking ideas like parts I'd quite like to play yeah. and then I entered in this competition so like they're running right now for E20 so I just sent in a script and um, got through had an interview got through and then ended up writing free 20 so it just went from there and then obviously like magically i ended up playing one of the characters anyway which i never thought that would happen but it just did somehow how you doing guys it's ricky nord here and ema kenny and we're here to ask you to go down to the e20 website all right if you want to watch series one two and three go online and you can get involved there and if you want to write you can also uh, just apply on the E20 website for the writers competition. It's a really good opportunity for all young writers. So get on there, send in your stuff. Get involved. Get, get involved. involved. Get involved in the E20 life, all right?